Okay, what's good, friends? We are back with John Yu versus Raiku. Raiku. As we see, um, Raiku brought a Mega Scissor team, balanced type of team versus. John as a Nido King was a really cool. Also, Mega Scissor probably, unless it's Mega Gyarados and regular Scissor. So, Stami used T Wave turn 1. Got synchronous, but a Mew to Mew Volt switched out, so it's a pivot Mew. Probably with Volt Switch, Willow was bruised. And maybe knock off a Defog. Defog makes some sense because he's a Gyarados. Um, yeah, this could actually be Mega Gyarados because you don't see regular Gyarados that much in Auras. So it could be Banded. So if the Scissor probably just goes for. I assume the Scissor just goes for U turn, unless. Unless he predicts him to be tank to have a tank jump there, and he doesn't want to take helmet plus rough skin, but just getting damage and tank jump would be okay for John, I guess. But yeah, if he predicts a tank jump, he can double and stuff like Keldeo on Nido King. I don't know if Nido King outspeeds tank jump actually, because tank jump runs some speed. I know tank jump runs enough speed to outspeed stuff like Bishop and Breloom. But for Nidoking, King, they would have to run more speed. Yeah, like, Nidoking, King, if it has, um... Ice Beam off power and Flamethrower just destroys everything. Switch and Swipe. So I think with the Tank Jump, we will see. So he goes for Bug Bud. Yeah, I think that's Tank Jump. It ate it up pretty well, and we see the Rough Skin Rocky Helmet, so that's confirmed. And I assume Raikou's just gonna throw up the Stealth Rocks here, it's cause, like, there's no way John stays in on a potential Fire Blast. I assume John is gonna go to Keldeo here. Keldeo or Gyarados. Or Mew if he has Defog on that, I guess. Um, I kinda understand why he... Actually, I don't know. The only reason he let his Mew get paralyzed with, um, Synchronize. Oh, never mind, the Stami used T-Wave for, for a second, I thought, what the fuck? How did the Mew get synchronized, t paralyzed? But it didn't get, it just used T-Wave itself and got paralyzed. Now, the Stami used on the Mew, man, why can I not speak properly? Stami used T-Wave on the Mew and got synchronized, but Stami just healed it off. This is, the only reason this is good for, for Jonas, so his Mew cannot get burned in this game. But I mean... He do have the Mew on purpose, so I assume he wanted the Mew burned anyways. This match is for, um, yeah, I assume it's default Mew the way he brought this in. This match is for... Classies versus Sharks. So yeah, the Classies can make playoffs, and I think the st Sharks can still make playoffs. So what is Reiko gonna do? He's either gonna go into Torn and knock off the Mew. Um, the Mew could also go for Wolo SP, so... That's a bit risky. Like, going Tita is a bit risky for Reiko, so... I don't think he wants to go hard into Tita. I just feel like going Torn here is fine. Like we don't, he doesn't know enough about this Mew. I, I wouldn't let my Chump get worse. Even though Chump, Chump doesn't do that much this game besides checking Scizor, which it can only do, like it can only switch in one more time. Like what else does it check? Not that much, like I guess it checks Heatron. So John gets paralyzed there, which sucks, that's the... Classic T wave. You clicked Will O Wisp, okay. I mean, yeah. I think this might be Banter. Band of Scarf. I mean, his team kind of likes a breaker, so. Could be Bandit. They did 37, that was good damage. I think that's Bandit, but I'm not 100% sure.
Yeah, so get this money set in the chat. Why is it bug bus um, says about Neto King? Cause usually, um, usually you would want you turn to bring. Like you support Neto King with stuff like um, Volt Switch, you turn to bring it in to bring it, give it a free switch in. And like he has Volt Switch on his Mew. Yeah, but it's kind of odd that he doesn't have U-turn on the scissor, I, I get it, yeah. But, like, Bug Bite scissor is nice in some scenarios, it's a nice win condition. It's probably, the f uh, he might be the fast scissor set, then it just outspeeds Rotom, and it can, like, destroy Rotom after rocks with plus two Bug Bite. I don't know if it kills after rocks, but plus two, but I think it has a chance to. So, um, I think we're just gonna see a crunch come out again. And yeah, it's banter for sure. The Mew just drops. Like, John didn't have a good switch in, anyways, because his Kelly, like, his Kelly could have switched in one more time, but. There was also the possibility of the of Tita going for Pursuit. I don't think Nido King sweeps. Nido King is a big threat, but. Man said whatever Nidoking looking sweeps. If it's a solve as torn, he can like eat an ice beam and get rid of the life orb from Nidoking King with a knockoff. He can check it with Starmie, he can bring it in bullet punch range from Scizor after getting a hurricane off or some other damage with, with the torn. The thing is, what does he need this Tita for? This Tita is nice for the heat run. But he also has a star, so does he really need the Tita is the question. I think he can afford to stay in with the Tita, because... I don't see the Tita doing that much. It already killed the Mew. Substitute Nido King, yeah, like I knew he wouldn't just let him do what he wanted, like staying with Tita is okay. Watch him go torn now on the off power. I mean, I assume we just see the off power come out here. Damn, he actually went torn on the... Okay, sub again. Man's really went for sub again. Pivots into scissor on the ice team, gets off a bullet punch to break the sub and probably dies to a... No, it doesn't have flamethrower, okay, so... Since it has substituted, it gave up a coverage move. I was probably a lot, but this might actually tank a bullet punch. I'm not sure. This might be a roll. I think it can tank one because this looks to be more bulky. So though. I didn't calc or anything, but I know Nido King is super strong, and Scissor probably has some spadef investment. John is probably going to heat run here and Reku was debating whether it was worth it to um like whether he wanted to ball punch again or make an aggressive read. Like he could have potentially roosted there slash U turn. Would be nice to see Solar Beam Heatran, but we already know it's left over, so never mind, never mind. Solar Beam Power Up, it's not an option then. I could just see Raikou going into Torn here to pivot out. 
Like. Okay, he just goes for the T wave first. That works, but like. John can spam rocks here because, like, if Stormy spins, he's just gonna get worn down by the poison. He cannot keep spinning. That's what I'm trying to say. He has to eventually switch out. I guess he's hoping for. He's hoping for a full para that he doesn't get at this in this specific turn. 16. Goes for recover. Okay, that's a nice play. Now he's gonna spin hoping for the para. Let me see who I see who has the upper hand at the moment. I feel like Reiko I feel like Reiko has the upper hand. Tangros like Tangros waltz the if it's a solvest Tangros it waltz to Keldeo. Goes for rocks again there. Doesn't get paralyzed, which is nice to see. You already got paralyzed earlier. And the uh, Banta is actually coming in clutch here that he saved that. Because Kaleo can like not switch in really well. John going for the burn gets the burn. Okay. So now he gets now he gets to keep his keep his heat run a bit healthier. Or like I don't know if he's gonna now now he can switch into Keldeo if he wants to. Keeping scissor means he can uh not scissor, keeping heat run means he can keep the Reku scissor pretty much in checkmate. Like Reku scissor doesn't roost on much anyways, it only roosts Maybe on the opposing scissor, but I don't know. Probably doesn't. Because Buck Bite, like he should outspeed, because John Scissor is off Buck Bite, which I think means it's offensive. So that's not a Thorvath Torn, that Lava Plum did 5 million. Is that even, that might be minus, but Death Nature, Life Hop Torn. So I assume this has superpower, knockoff, hurricane, and then either taunt or HPIs, whatever you want. Or heat wave, depending on what. Yeah, I don't know if that was the play, that was so obvious. He just played it safe there, I guess he didn't lose much from superpowering. Because, like, the trend was really annoying for Reiku there, like, because it burned the Tita. I mean, going Garrus was kind of risky though. If you hurricane that, that man would have taken 5 million. Goes for hurricane there, hits it on the Nidoking, King, but the torn is gone to the life orb. I mean, would have died to send them too. I mean, he has Stami plus Tangros to keep Keldeo in check. Um, Scissors. Hmm. John Scissors looking like a threat. If you beat, like, if the guard jump gets lower, the Scissor can kind of destroy him. It can destroy Reiku. If it's not HP fire, Tangros especially can SD on that. So I don't know if he's gonna like. Try to burn the scissor with the Skami with the skull later on. Oh, no, if he's gonna paralyze it, um, I think John should win this with a scissor. 
Because the cheetah got burned. But I guess he, hmm, he might be the, the SD3 attack, says our superpower. The speed is that outspeeds low heat trends. Yeah, we see a Solvers Tangos eat up the icy wind that did absolutely nothing. Oh yeah, again, I wanted to ask you guys, because maybe not everyone watched the video, the old T, OST game that I will upload. Um, you, I wanted to ask you if you want to see Smog Tours, I might record that. Um, mainly, mainly after, mainly after SPL is over, because when SPL is still going on, I want to focus on that. Because there's like Smog Tours at the same time going on a lot. So let me know if you want to see that when SPL is over, or maybe maybe even during SPL, but probably after. So the Gyarados took Rocky Armor and Rough Skin there. Um, so he's pretty much just weakening this Garchomp, but it's just um, Reku's main check. Garchomp is Reku's main check for the Scizor, which pretty much. Doesn't it doesn't switch in anymore? Raikou can just like go for knockoff here. If this is not HP fire though, like I said, I think he kind of loses this. Is. Cause like if it, if he just knocks off here, the scissor can come and just wall this. But I wouldn't go hard sis, cause what would I do here? It's actually, I don't know, it's a tough turn for John. You can either go Heatran or Sis, I guess. Or Gera. Like, maybe just sack the Gera to scout a potential set. Just maybe scout HP Fire, but I don't know. If, I don't think Rayco would reveal HP Fire. So I would probably go Scissor here, predict him to go for knockoff. And then I would either Bug Bite to like be sure that you kill this. Or go on the heat and scout for HP fire. So he just giga drains, he gets some health back. The other one is interesting. Most of the time AV tank runs Leaf Storm. But yeah, it's just I guess it's personal preference. I like the power from Leaf Storm, but lowering your special attack is obviously annoying. Yeah, I hope Raikou doesn't time out. Good god, don't. Don't time out, dude. So it's Rest Gyarados. What? So, oh, it's Rest Talk, probably. It's probably bulky Gyarados with lefties. Did I say it's Mega Gyarados? Am I am I smoking something? Because it's obviously Mega Scissor. So, yeah, this is this is like to check stuff like um, Zard Y. I think. This, this set is pretty cool. I was about to say it probably has T-Wave in the last move, but then it got revealed already. Because of like, I think M used this set sometimes when he has this, he had this series on his channel with the team building videos. And I also saw it on, when I first started battling in X and Y, I was playing on Battlespot and I was playing some Japanese players and then the T-Wave Gyarados. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure John is from Asia, so that, I don't know. <laughs> Rekus might be timing out, so yeah, time off would be nice. So, yeah, he's lagging. This Gyarados can maybe uh, PP stole Tangros out of Giga Drains. John's a winner regardless of the outcome. Man's is just trying to flinch this down. I mean, I get his play because like he he's not in range to die, so he can just attack until he's in range and then he can rest. There's not much Riku can do anyways. 
And here's the silo chilling in the chilling in the back, just waiting to come out. That's what I've been saying. That's what I've been saying. Sacks of the Tita to get some sandstorm chip. And now he can go into um What can he even go to? He doesn't have much. Like Stormy doesn't beat this. Stormy can spin, but this doesn't help Reiku like Stami can go for recover, but what does it accomplish? Like, this doesn't accomplish much. Yeah, go for recover, and then you're gonna get T-waved, and then you're gonna get flinched. Like, this doesn't do anything. We could just lose this. I could see him going for rest here, or just waterfall. Um, I assume he's gonna go for rest, because you don't want to die to Ruskin, Brozaki Helmet. A potential switch. To guard jump here. Yeah, we see the rest come out, and he's probably just gonna spin slash recover. He just gets paralyzed. The man sleep talks a T wave. Yeah, I was about to say, mm, you can potentially PP stall the Gyarados, but I think he just loses the scissor afterwards, so I hope it doesn't take too, too long. This would be annoying. Yeah, like, I'm Fuga said this was such a choke game on both sides. He kind of threw his tornadoes away, I don't remember what happened besides that. I guess one turn with Defog with, um, with the Mew, there was, it was, he maybe should have whisked on that turn on the Tita coming in. But he also got paralyzed once earlier. He also got a revenge, he got revenge hex though with the burning the Tita later on. Yeah, this is gonna be boring. Like, I don't wanna see this PP stall war, skull versus waterfall. And I mean, this doesn't have that many waterfall PP. So if he doesn't get the, if he doesn't get the flinch, he's 18. Okay. If Stami gets the burn, it's bad for John because it's gonna cost him more waterfall PP to weaken this, and he doesn't get the flinches. But like after, after like he loses his Gyarados, doesn't he like? Doesn't he like just win with his uh, scissor? I just disconnected because my my um, computer was like, nah, nah, nah. You're not watching this game. Take me away with these fat teams. Hopefully, I can connect back. Yeah, here we are. Would be so annoying if my internet would die again, like I did yesterday. So he goes hard into scissor, which is I don't know if I agree with that. That's a, like unnecessary risky play. Let me just click on lobby again. Like, that was so risky. Especially if it doesn't have roost. Because, like, bug bite is pretty calm with superpower. Bullet punch. SD. I assume he's gonna SD banking on a para. Yeah, I'll just on a switch out, okay. Now you can bullet punch kill the chomp. And then he's in range to die from Skull from the star I me. Mean. So I don't like, I don't know. I don't like how I played this. But maybe there's something that I didn't see. But I feel like this is a one if you didn't bring it hard in.
I mean, you can save the scissor here because the skull is so obvious, yeah. But I don't know why he brought it out in the first place earlier. <laughs> Zamrock said, Harding to Zone Stormy triggers me a lot, my god. <laughs> ah, there's probably other th other places that trigger them, Fuga, because he said that triggers your question mark. And Fuga said, John at the 100% would not like three different points. My bad, my bad, I'm not the best analyst. I didn't see the other points where he had a free win. Now I'm forgot to tell me after this game. God, like... This PP Star Wars is so disgusting, but I have to watch this. It feels like Toxabex was the Cell Stealer. <laughs> what do you mean, improve what? Improve, like, he wants to get better at playing, is what he means, obviously. I mean, everyone can. Everyone can improve at Pokemon, I feel like, or like the way you play. Like, there's like very little players that never choke, or like. Never misplay, let's put it this way. And maybe there are some players that really choke super, super rare or like almost never choke. But there's almost some, there's always some little thing that you can do better most of the times. If you think about everything a possible play that takes like. Like, there's so many options in Pokemon. In doubles, there's even more. I, res I have respect for double plays. Good God, it's not for me that tier. Or that format, however you want to call it. Oh, we don't know what teams are in playoffs yet, I think, besides the Raiders. Maybe, maybe there's a second team already in. So Stami has a lot of PPU Rapid Spin and T-Wave, so this is gonna take a while if he stays in. Thankfully he doesn't stay in. But it's still gonna take a while. But this Gyarados is just gonna get PP still be between Tangrove and Stami, yeah. God, I didn't sleep much, my eyes hurt. Please play better. <laughs> Don't do this to me. <laughs> this is Gen 7 game, is that for anything? What, why is my computer lagging? Oh, it's for OST. I guess I might watch that after, but I already recorded one OST game series earlier and it wasn't the most interesting. I'm gonna focus on SPL for now. Maybe I'm... Um, like, if I'm able to catch... an OST series, but like, too interesting. Although, like, was um... a player that is well known. Maybe Poex series or something. I think he's playing today. I might record that, but probably probably my focus is on SPL. Thankfully, Teal put the timer back on because this is taking forever. And we're making some progress. Trying to get paralyzed there and Tank was getting rid of the lefties. I feel like Reiko wins now that John let his scissor get in skull range from Starmie. Like, if he didn't go hard scissor, he pretty much had it, but 
besides than that, I don't know the other two scenarios that, that Amfuga meant, because Amfuga said he had a win at three points in the game, and I only saw one time. I only saw it one time. I mean, I don't get some people that say that they hate Auras, because... I know this is a, this is not the like most interesting game at the ending and long, but what I'm what I meant to say basically is, um, Sun and Moon is kind of similar to Auras at the moment because this is Toxapex plus Tangros cores or Celestia cores getting spammed. I've, I've used it myself, and it's honestly like it's not that much. F Good God, it's not that much fun. Like, especially to play against, to use it might be okay, but play against is probably super annoying. Thankfully, didn't face them that often. Yet. Probably because I'm not that high on the ladder yet. Yeah, I don't see a junk and win now. He just He's either gonna go back to Gyarados Or stay in or sack something or like like either let the Kelly take this hmm. Not going Kelly doesn't accomplish anything. You either go to Gyarados or you stay in, I don't know. Like um I think I would just forfeit it from John now because I don't see the win condition at this point. You have to bank on record choking, I guess. Which, which obviously can happen, so I understand that you don't want to click X. Why do you go for T wave? Um, he didn't want to waste the skull PP, probably. I guess John can try to stall. Like, God, if it's gonna become a PP war, it's gonna be so fucking boring. I mean, if Star if Garros and Starmie are like facing each other, it obviously becomes a PP war. I really hope that these two mods don't stay in too long. Okay. Like, he just goes back into Storm, he goes back into Tangros as long as the Gyarados is out. Like, <laughs> this doesn't do anything for John. He didn't click Sleep Dog there to save a PP. Like, he just goes back into Storm, you know. <laughs> Can we please end this game? Good God! I hope this doesn't come down to Gyarados using struggle. I might actually fall asleep if it comes down to that. I'm gonna ask if anyone wants to call because <laughs> this is not too interesting to me. But at least have someone call. Like, yeah, like I said, he just goes back to Stormy here. John's gonna wake up this turn if he stays up, so he doesn't even. But he doesn't have. John doesn't have anything to beat Starmie at this point, besides PP stalling mid. Like, he cannot even make a double switch into something that beats Starmie. Natural Q is really clutch for Starmie, obviously, because, like... It was T-waved earlier, by like, it got synchronized T-waved. And it could also get Skull Burn if it didn't have Synchronize. It also got Toxic by Trend. Yeah, this thing also got, already got status a few times. I guess, like, I think he let a C tune get knocked off, right? Which was this is also like kind of annoying for John that C tune got knocked off, because otherwise he could double into He tune here to get some lefties picked in the storm, I mean, and he could go back into Gyarados, and has he has to like bank on Reiko wasting his scores. That's like his only way of winning. And if he like keeps making doubles into He tune, if he still has leftovers, he could get that healthy. But yeah, Rapid Spin also has more PP than Star Fox, so I don't think he was gonna get rocks up. Um, yeah.
Tangos being paralyzed is also nice for Reiku in the PP war because if you get paralyzed in the PP war you don't waste the PP that turn. Paralyzed is also better than being burned or toxic obviously because you don't take any damage. So the natural cure plus the Stormy plus the regenerator Tangos is just gonna be hard for John to beat. I don't think he can do it. Um, can I like make a play please? <laughs> what the fuck? Did I disconnect? Oh yeah, disconnected rib. Let me pause it then. What's up guys? So my internet died yesterday, right? At like 6am or 5.30 and it never came back so I couldn't record any more SPL games so this will be the last SPL game I recorded. Really disappointing, there were like 5 or 6 more games that I wanted to record. But yeah, I'll have to do this from the replay now. We were at turn 16 out of 70, which is what I remember. And Reiku had... I mean, you guys will know where it was, because you... There will just be a shortcut in the video. So, like, Reiku's basically PP star on this Gyarados, right? So this time he decides to attack with for Giga Drain, and... I don't... He stays in here and probably goes for Earthquake, or he goes for Knockoff. And he just goes to star me and he's just gonna like PP stall his heat turn 2 or he's just gonna sk Like now we can predict the Gyarados cause he doesn't wanna waste the Skull PP right so he can double out into Tangrove Okay he just wastes the Skull PP I mean Wasting Skull PP is fine but I thought doubling out into Tangrove was also fine And John Go brings the scissor on a double switch which was a nice play and gets a crit on the Tangrove which probably mattered Um yeah he said sorry there John said sorry Cause like, the Thizzle would've died, I think the Thizzle was at 10%, so it would've died to anything, to like Earthquake, it was at 9.3%. So... Since, um, Rekul lost his Tangrowth, maybe, um, John has a slight chance of winning this now. He brings in this time, he has to Scald the Thizzle, obviously. John plays it safe, goes back into Gyarados. As Rekul just clicks Rapid Spin now, not so he doesn't waste any PP. And yeah, getting paralyzed, getting the stomach paralyzed, like I said earlier, this helps Reiku, because if he gets fully paralyzed, like he gets this turn. Uh, he doesn't waste any PP. Which is actually nice if it comes down to PP stall for Reiku. Um, and yeah, the timer was like going really low, so the turn of the timer. And yeah, this, this endgame is pretty much just boring, but I had to end this, because... I had to like record this last few turns. He's just trying to get a burn here, which even if he gets the burn, which he does, the Gyarados can still rest it up, so it doesn't matter that much. I mean, it matters in the sense that the Stami cannot get Paravenged down. And that the Scissor can eat a waterfall now. Yeah, I guess it matters in that sense. There's probably a roll, but the Scissor is fast anyway, so it's. Reck was probably running speed, or. I don't know if uh, Scissor, Mega Scissor would outspeed the Gyarados if the Gyarados. Like, naturally, is what I'm trying to say. I don't even know the base speed. I think Gyarados should be a bit faster, so I think this Gyarados is running speed. God, this is embarrassing. Why do I not know this? <laughs> so, um, Reku's basically going for a game and seeing up with a scissor, and John doesn't have a wind con- like, doesn't have anything to beat this. Like, he sleep talks a T-Wave. I guess he had to sleep talk a waterfall. Bug Bite does a lot of damage, so we see it's SD, Roost, Bug Bite, Scissor. The bullet punch and the heat when gets to it kill by Bug Blood plus bullet punch. Um, the, th the question is, do you want to risk the, the para? Yeah, he doesn't want to risk the para, he just brings the stamina and the lava plume. Uh, we will see if he gets burned now. He doesn't get burned, which is nice. And he can just scald or recover here. Or he can even double back out into scissor if he wants to be risky like that. But yeah, just recovers fine. Get the stamina healthy. And he brings in the scissor on the. Gyarados, since it's already paralyzed, it's not like this Gyarados can do anything to it. And he's just gonna attempt to go for game. Gonna SD again, I assume. As John is trying to paraflinch the scissor. Okay, just goes for Bug Bite. I guess in case. No, I actually don't know why. Why would you not SD? I don't know. I guess just getting damage on the Gyarados is fine, but the Gyarados has rest, so I think SD is like. The play that you want to make if he gets flinched there before he raises a roost. So, like, he has to roost here again. Yeah, which he gets off. Like, if he doesn't get paralyzed and he can SD up, the scissor just wins. But how healthy is the kill, Dio? Actually, we cannot see how it's at 50, okay? 
So we could not see that as the scissor gets a bug bite off and the bull punch. Bug bite into bull punch kills the Gyarados and John is basically banking on a para here, like hoping Rekus stays and gets paralyzed. As he makes a great prediction there, but in the Starmie throws off a toxic and he can bring like now he cannot really bring anything in. As Raiko said he enjoying this game a lot, not gonna lie. Auras over Sun and Moon. And then he's talking you guys are so retarded talking about donations. Um there he was probably talking about the chat. I think that chat said someone I don't know if that said someone of those guys to of those two guys choked, they probably said said that. Oh yeah, also I wanted to say the quality of the these videos I recorded on Sunday was probably pretty bad. I don't know if I already said that. Cause like I only slept four hours on Sunday. But yeah, whatever. Um, I don't know, I don't think anyone made it until this point, this video is already 41 minutes anyway. So it just scalds, the Kelly doesn't get burned, and the Icy wins here. I don't know why he Icy wins it. I mean, yeah, it lowers the speed of the Stami, but that doesn't do much. Like, you get T-Wave there, and now you're slower. I mean, he didn't have a win condition anyway, but... I'm not really sure why exactly he Icy wins it. So his scissor, like, his scissor doesn't even have Roost. Okay, so he had to hope for a full para here. Yeah, I remember that John brought his scissor in earlier on. Reiko gets a bullet punch crit there. Kelly gets paralyzed, so Reiko gets some hacks. I think there was some hacks against him earlier, so... Yeah, his Tita get like... Actually, nah, John missed like a wisp earlier. Or he got paralyzed on a wisp on the Tita earlier. But then he burned the Tita with Lava Plume. So that's hard to say which hacks mattered more. Um, but... I remember John had like a few chances. I had a chance to win this game with a scissor earlier. But yeah, that's like. I recorded this like 22 hours ago, the first part of the game. I don't really remember too much what was going on. My net just crashed after that. It never came back. It just came back today on Monday. I hope this doesn't happen in playoffs next week or whenever playoffs are. Or this week. I'm not sure when playoffs are actually. Um. So yeah, the teams that managed in the playoffs are the Raiders. The bigs, I think. I think the Circus Maximus Tigers, and I forgot the fourth team. Uh, we can actually look it up in the thread. There's like a spreadsheet. So yeah, let me just click on that. Like um, John losing that game didn't really matter, but he at the end he said like, nah, I'm, like he, that's not good what he said there. Like believe in yourself, dude. You're not bad. You're not a bad player. We all make mistakes. You will bounce back. Um, Next tournaments you play, I believe in you. And uh, let me actually look at this just to show you guys. Let me. So we see the Raiders are first. That was decided a long time ago. The Bigs are second. Uh, Scooters are third. And the Maximus Tigers are fourth. So these four teams made playoffs. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And if I recall correctly, Team Raiders is playing versus Tigers because it's number one versus number four in playoffs and semifinals. And uh, Big should be playing the Indie Scooters. So I'm looking forward to that. Actually, not sure if there's a threat, if there's gonna be a threat posted anytime soon. But yeah, um, yeah so speaking about this game, Reku won this game. I think Reku was on the Sharks. Uh, the Sharks didn't make playoffs. It was kind of close, I think. They were like fifth, so. They barely missed playoffs, the Tigers are above them. Not sure if they... They played 6-6, six, six. did they play 6-6 six, six this week? Let me check. Yeah, they played 6-6, six, six. I'm pretty sure if the Sharks won the week, they probably would have been in playoffs. But I'm not 100% sure how this works exactly, this entire ranking thing. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I can tell you what other games I recorded that I will upload after this. I recorded one DPP game, which was the Toph game. And I recorded, um, I think that's it. I recorded OST, um, Tama Homies games, I think. They were not that good, honestly, but actually some of them were good. That was a multi there were multiple games. It was a best of three, obviously. So, yeah, I hope you guys um, still stay tuned for that and will enjoy that. Even though, yeah, since, like I already said, it was Sunday, I didn't sleep too much. I don't think this was the, those were the best narrations from my part. And yeah, we'll just see you guys next time with probably some short on lives or um, not too sure what what else I will record this week. Um, yeah, let, let me know. 
I probably already asked this in this video. Let me know if you want me to record smoke truth and I'm out. Peace.